Here is a little simple formula that is used by retailers such as supermarkets, drugstores, and home improvement centers to manage inventory. It is also used by manufacturers, big and small. It is called the Economic Order Quantity, or EOQ for short. The beautiful thing about this equation is that all you need is basic algebra to apply it. The EOQ is based on the balancing act between keeping a low inventory at hand against ordering too many times. If the inventory is too large, we pay too much for rent, insurance, and utilities. But if we want a low inventory, we would have to order constantly, which increases paperwork, invoices, phone calls, and shipping. Therefore, the EOQ was developed considering all the costs, so that the amount ordered every time is the same, thus eliminating guesswork and keeping the warehousing and ordering costs balanced and at a minimum. Because business models must have inputs to determine outputs, to solve the EOQ we need to know certain inputs. Of course, each item in inventory must have its own EOQ and for it we need to know how many units of the item we sell or use for a period of time. For this example, we will use a year. Let's imagine an item like chocolate ice cream the type that is thick, with pieces of fudge in it. In any case, let's say we own a supermarket and we sell 1,850 half gallons per year. To use the equation, we also need to know how much it costs to place an order. Let's say that every time we place an order, it costs us $25. Beyond this, we also need to know the cost of one half gallon of the ice cream. Let's place it at $2.50 and also the cost of warehousing as a percent. I'll put the cost of warehousing at 30% because being ice cream, it requires lots of refrigeration. Now, according to the equation, the quantity to be ordered every time is Q and Q is equal to the square root of 2 times the number of units sold per year, R times the ordering cost, S, divided by the cost per unit, C, times the warehousing cost, W, as a percent. Substituting the input values, we have 1,854 R, $25 for S, $2.50 for C, and 0 0.3 for W. In the numerator, we get 2 times 1,850 equals 3,700 times 25 equals 92,500. In the denominator, we get 2.5 times 0 0.3 equals 0 0.75. We divide 92,500 by 0 0.75 and get 123,334. We find the square root of 123,334 and Q. The quantity to order every time is 351. And rounding off, it becomes 350. The cheapest way to carry chocolate ice cream at this supermarket is to order 350 half gallons every time. By dividing the annual sales of 1,850 by 350, we see that we must order 5.29 times per year, or every 69 days.